Hi, in today's video I want to uh, give you a short review and couple of close-ups of my new security camera that is solar powered. I currently have a QC system from Costco that is more than 10 years old and I noticed that my cameras are starting to malfunction and my night vision is uh, also malfunctioning so I've decided to get something that won't need a uh, power supply and I can install it basically wherever I want. The camera is built for outside, so as you can see, it has a protective cover. You also have a removable antenna that will allow you to pick up Wi-Fi signal better. Cam is mounted on about 3 inch extended arm. This whole thing feels like it's, yeah, this is made out of plastic, so it's not going to rust. The solar panel is mounted on the top. And you have extra adjustments right here and right here so you can tilt it in any possible direction. On the back of solar panel you have DC input and switch to on and off together with the uh, rubber cover so this will be waterproof. And the panel as you can see is connected with the wire with the camera so it supplies the constant power. The bottom of the mounting plate, you have a cable running with three different connectors. One of them is a power on and off button. This is extra charging cable and this is the reset button. Those buttons of course come with the covers, so you can just go and close that and that's going to be waterproof. When you turn the power on, You wait a couple of seconds and you will see the camera starting to rotate to get to the uh, default position. Now at the back of the camera we have a slot for your SD card. And this of course comes with the cover. And on the back of the camera you have a two-way speaker and a microphone. And of course you have a manual with all the instructions how to install it and how to operate it. And then we have a guarantee card which gives you 3 months of replacement of 12 months of worry-free warranty. You also have extra long USB to micro SD charging cable if you wanted to charge your solar panel. I opened the back plate to see what's behind it and Basically what we have is battery connector, it's the special type, the connector looks like that. Screws to this piece, so this part really doesn't have to be waterproof once the plate is in place. If there's even any water coming, it will just drip down. When you're ready to install, all you have to do is just mount the back plate on the place where you want it to install and then you just slide it in the back, secure it with the locking screw on the bottom. Now my camera has been installed and now it started to rain so now I can see how the image is gonna look like after the rain. So this is the image uh, that was captured uh, during the rain, so later I've decided to use Rain-X on the lens to prevent that from happening. And now those are the images that I captured with that camera. As you can see, this is pretty good sharp image of the front of my house. Now this is another view, but pointing with the camera a little bit higher so you can see nice uh, shades of the clouds. And now this is nice comparison between 1080p resolution where you can see everything is almost like HDR and now this is a regular VGA uh, which is standard resolution. And this is standard resolution of a night vision. The camera has a very nice feature uh, where you can set your preset positions for your PTZ locations. So all you have to do is just program that mode, lock it, save it, and then if you want to change direction your camera is facing, all you have to do is just click that button 
and the camera will automatically point to that direction so you don't need to move it up and down and all different uh, directions. This is the screenshot from the interface of this camera so you can see when I started uh, the camera was about 30% charge. This is a screenshot that I took from that camera. You can see the picture quality is really amazing and also different features that you have uh, with uh, this camera, different screens. Uh, actually, uh, it took about a week uh, for the battery to charge to 90% from 20%. So I would consider it pretty good. And also the another feature you can see right here, the left button, you can actually click on it and uh, the camera speaker will uh, have a siren of a police. So you can kind of scare somebody at night. Overall, I really like this camera after uh, having it uh, for about two weeks. The picture quality is really amazing, especially in 1080p. And uh, there are a couple of limitations with uh, setting up the sensitivity of the motion detection. Other than that, I really uh, like this camera and uh, it's very convenient because you don't need to connect it to any power source. Uh, so far, I love it. Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye.